What's going on guys, it's King J and today I want to talk about Tekken 7. Um, Tekken 7 got announced on the Xbox, the Xbox E3 and it also got announced on the PS4 as well, um, the Sony conference as well. Um, they announced it for early 2017, so the early 2017 could be any time from January to March, yeah January to March, so, or January to April. Because you know with most games they, they always say oh yeah the first quarter but it's always like near the end, they could extend it to near the end. If deadlines have not met so in this video we're gonna find out what character I'm gonna use my opinions towards Tekken 7 what I think the storyline is saying and pretty much a couple more but we're gonna start off with the first bit so you know I played Tekken 7 this this was not faded retribution but I did play Tekken 7 at the MCM and people were like oh yeah um, what's your thoughts on the game I have not done no videos giving my thoughts on the game I've not even really spoke about it on social media and stuff I, I have probably voiced my opinions on the game taking so long on social media but I've not voiced out what I think of the game so you guys are gonna hear it at first Tekken 7 is the graphically that that Tekken 7 I played was really good, really, really good. Like, visually, it's, it's, there's definitely an enhancement there. Um, gameplay seems good, seems fun, you know, armor moves, uh, rage, rage art. People from the Tekken world, some people don't like it, but I think it's something new added into the game. I like it, I think it's something, it's, it's most games have supers, isn't it? Most, most fighting games have supers, man, like, it's... And to be honest, when when I when most people saw it, when even the general crowd like they were like, "Raw, Super's in Tekken now," like and it brought them in, like it, they look do look really good, so that's good. Sidestepping is a bit mad in the game, but I heard Fate Retribution, which is the the update from Tekken Seven, I heard that that's been changed. I heard the sidestepping's better now, but I, I, I've yet to see that. So, all right, that aside, I'm. People asking me what character I'm gonna use because there's no Ganryu, no Bob, no Bruce. Uh, who else do I use? No Armor King, no Marduk. Apparently, Gigas is meant to be like Marduk, but yeah, I, he doesn't interest me in the slightest. I like the Valtudo stuff, so he can go into the stance and stuff. So I won't be using Gigas. Um, my character that I'm going to be using is Shaheen. I'm also gonna be using Josie, but I don't use Josie on pad because of the forward down forward uh, commandments on the d-pad i need that I, I don't know how to use stick at all but yeah shaheen and josie would be the characters i'm using and devil Jin, yeah i've been uh, i've been dabbling with devil Jin on tech attack 2 as of late like just not been streaming it but i've been dabbling with um devil Jin, just getting used to certain things and stuff um he's my prototype i suppose for, with the machines i've always liked kazoo but i thought i think kazoo is like a risk he's a risk taker of a machine um, and I heard Heiachi is not that good in this game, from what I heard. I heard he's not that good in this game. I don't know how, but, you know, I, I never had that much time to dabble with, dabble with him. Because where we was um, playing, basically what was happening is that we would take, like, we would have one goal. It's one and off. And then, like, we'd have to wait, like, 30 minutes. And, yeah, it was just long. So I just stuck to Shaheen and kept on learning Shaheen every time I played. Um, so, yeah, that's the character I'm going to use. Um and obviously, like I said, graphically it's good and stuff. The issues I have with the game right now is not particularly the game. It's particularly the way how it's been marketed. So, I know I'm probably going to get people hating me for this. But I think I'll just... Uh, this is just real talk. I don't know, like, what more to say. Um, the game got announced before Street Fighter Five, But then Street Fighter Five got... It came out before Tekken. Now, the argument is, is that... Why is Tekken taking so long? Maybe they just want to prepare it and make it into a, a really good game. Maybe there's maybe there's story mode there they want to implement and it's taking that long. Um, who knows? Obviously, Street Fighter Five came out, but it's, it seems like an open beta, to be honest. Um, obviously, I feel like... I feel like the way how they've done it, they've gone backwards again. So... How do I say this without upsetting people? All right, so the Koreans and Japanese players have been playing the game for like the game came out. Tekken Seven came out in two thousand fifteen. Uh, we're on Fate of Retribution. They play. They've played Fate Fate Retribution from what I know. Like, and we've just about got Tekken Seven. We just about got Tekken Seven now. 
like no it doesn't even fit a retribution just just about got Tekken 7 we don't have it no arcades like no one's able to access it um it was just like that one mcm comic Con. i don't know if it's even around even in london still maybe that arcade that arcade cabinet's gone somewhere else so i don't know but what's going to happen is when it comes to tournaments and stuff when we just about get fate of retribution the koreans the japanese players the american players because america's have got um tekken 7 as well australian players have got tekken 7 but what's gonna happen is when it comes to like europe the overall europe having the game it's gonna be difficult for everyone to be on the same level if that makes sense like the, comp the competition is gonna be quite hard you know like you just gotta think of it like this a guy that has an experience of playing the game for two years over you and a lot of practice time imagine that person being in your tournament i remember the koreans are already good naturally they're naturally good at mo majority of fighting games like we're talking like me nee, uh jdcr light help me all of those players like they have access they have access to the game so it's quite hard to kind of compete with people on that caliber like they already were really good at the previous second so now they're going to be really good at this one and one thing i don't realize uh, one thing i mean one thing i don't like is um i swear there was a tournament for like where was it again i think they put 80 grand on the line i don't know what tournament it was though someone might be able to correct me i can't remember what tournament it was but they put 80 grand on the line for it and i was just like raw okay 80 grand but there's no no one knows how to play the game the game's not even out why is there so much money on a game that's not even out yet like it's really backwards it doesn't make any sense like wouldn't you rather save that money and then just use it as like a maybe a, i don't know just use it into a better investment or even use the 80 grand when the game is out when everyone's played it and say right look there's here's here's a major boom like prior five five months prior to the game being out to say boom 80 grand for tournament let's play do you know what i mean i just feel like i just feel like certain decisions that have been made are a bit a bit questionable um and regards to like i see Markman doing a lot as well shout out to Markman, he's doing the tech and talk and stuff and that's really good um i see that he's done with anakin and justin um i hope he keeps that up i hope it can be pretty much like a weekly thing like what capcom street fighter have street fighter have winner stays on every tuesdays i hope tech and talk could be the same thing but it's own unique thing for tekken so that would be good i hope tekken has like a pro tour like how how capcom does um street fighter does sorry not capcom street fighters that would be really good to like kind of like have tournaments in different countries and stuff and everyone just travels around that would be really good that will keep the game that will really keep the game alive for a, a long time um so you know what is what it is man it's like i just thought this video does it's not pointless but it's like i kind of wanted to give everyone keeps on asking me various different questions about tech and what do i think of what do i think of the new trailer what do i think of this what do i think of that like and i just felt like to just voice everything that kind of like i was thinking about tech and, you know like it's coming out early next year i'm kind of like i said i'm not really i'm not happy about it but at the same time i'm kind of got my focus on street fighter 5 and when King of Fighters comes out, I'll be playing that as well. But there ain't gonna be—I don't know if there's gonna be like a off. I don't know if there's gonna be like a proper heavy competitive scene in the UK for King of Fighters. I don't know, but I'll still be playing it. I've always had a heavy, heavily, heavy, heavily interest into um, King of Fighters. King of Fighters is like one of the first games that I proper like started to like learn combos. Da -da 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 -da. Like it wasn't even Tekken. It was King of Fighters. King of Fighters '97 to be more precise, and then. You know, I started dabbling into playing Tekken seriously as well. And then that Street Fighter was kind of lost. So, yeah, man. I just wish that this... that I just hope this Tekken goes well. Because... And especially for, like, the casual crowd as well. Like, I'll, be doing, I'll be doing a lot of tutorials for Tekken 7 just to help that the casual crowd just get good at the game and stuff like that. And just, you know, stay stick at it. Because, you know, as we all know, Tekken Tekken's not an easy game to learn. Tekken's quite hard like really i would say it's really hard most people didn't most people most of the casual crowd didn't stay didn't stick around for tag two and the reason why they didn't stick around for tag two is purely because of you've got to learn two characters you've got to know the tag crash system you've got to know 
when to tag in safe and stuff and it was just it was really hard whereas now this Tekken 7 is pretty much yeah it's just you are one person you you can you can maneuver you you know what to, you know what I mean it's no like, Okazemi's are being out of the game now like it's not really and about like this this new system as well that it was I don't know if it's called tail whip or tail spin or I don't know what it's called but um that system there's not really that complicated like the bound one bound and okazemi might have been a bit difficult for like new newer players because they'll try and roll back and stuff but you can't even okazemi people anymore so it is what it is man but yeah i'm looking forward to the game i'm looking forward to new stuff i'm probably going to do a video talking about like what characters i think are going to be in the game as well like in terms of um the characters that have not been announced yet i think lei hulong i think anna is going to be in the game i think Mm. I'm not even going to talk too much about that I'll do that in a separate video That'll be this week But Yeah Prior to that um, Yeah that's it really man That's I, that's it when it comes to Tekken I, I'm disappointed of how long it's taken But at the same time I can't be too disappointed Because at the end of the day Like Tekken Tekken 7 Tekken 7 It looks like they're putting on a lot of work into it So It is what it is Also as well um, If you guys are interested in Tekken, make sure you guys tune in on the stream on Friday, 7 p.m. till midnight, because I'll be streaming Tekken Tag 2, 7 p.m. till midnight. But I'll also be answering a lot of your questions, because people have been asking me bare questions. Like, even when I went to MCM, bare, bare people's like, oh, yeah, who are you using? Oh, are you excited for Tekken 7? Yeah, I'm excited for Tekken 7. I'm a, I'm a Tekken player. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm one of the known players for Tekken. So... I'm excited for it. Don't get it wrong, but it's it's a time. We're in like June, and like to know that it's gonna be like next year. I'd say March. It's, it's long. It's a long way. Everyone's kind of bored of tag two now. Do you know what I mean? Like not many people streaming. Not many tournaments are going on. People love the characters. People love the game. So we're just waiting. We're waiting patiently, and there's nowhere to play Tekken Seven. So whereas we're seeing everyone else. There's tournaments for Tekken 7, this and the other, but it's like flights are so expensive to go fly out and do you know what I mean? Which is bad. But maybe I might do something or maybe I might do like a a donation drive where like I go out there and I'll just pick who whichever characters what other people want me to do. I mean what whatever other characters let me explain that again. Maybe I'll do a donation drive where I'll fly out to one of the countries where they do have the Tekken 7 FR or Tekken 7 and I'll use the characters and just pretty much record content and help out not even it's not really helping out it's just showcasing what's going on because right now I'm not really seen I've not really seen too much of Tekken 7 FR man I'll be honest like I've seen bits and bobs but it's not do you know what I mean it's not really it's not caught me like I just don't, I don't feel like the game has grabbed me yet, to be honest. But again, like I said, it's coming out, I swear it's coming out July. So if it's coming out July, then, yeah, that's Bloodline, that's not Bloodline Rebellion, what's it called again? Fated Retribution, sorry. When Fated Retribution comes out in July, which is, I think is it's hitting the arcades in July, I think they're doing a time release for the characters as well. So when that stuff happens, I think people will start getting more excited again, so... You know, we'll just have to wait and see, man. Um, that's it, really. This video was kind of... It was kind of random. It's kind of random. But, you know, like, I've never really done a video where, like... I've just sat here. There's no gameplay. There's no, like, anything else. I've just sat here and just spoke to the camera. Like, I've never really done stuff like that for a long, long period of time talking about a game. But, you know, I'm passionate about tech, and I always have been. Definitely been passionate about that game and i've learned quite a lot and i've met a lot of good people for it so you know that's why i just do a video talking about tekken 7 man i hopefully answered everyone's questions because i get a load of questions twitter facebook uh face to face so hopefully this answered everyone's question and just have to just wait man you know until then let me get some ggs on tag 2 peace and remember to subscribe as well. If you want Tekken 7 content as well, like I said, or if you want to see my live streams, go to my Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash KingJ. So it's KingJAE.
All right, guys, take it easy. Peace.